breaking news. We just crushed Justin Trudeau's cabinet minister, Stephen Gilbo, in the federal court of Canada. And in doing so, Rebel News has struck a blow for freedom of speech and freedom of the press for everyone. Go to twitterlawsuit.ca to see the court order signed today by Justice Russell Zinn. Here's some background. Like his boss, Justin Trudeau, Stephen Gilbo hates Rebel News because he can't control us. We're one of the few media companies that doesn't take government money, so we don't tow the government line. So the liberals always look for ways to punish us. Like Trudeau, Gilbo doesn't care about freedom of the press or other constitutional rights. They both admire China's dictatorship, and they think they can act like little dictators themselves by censoring us. And they're both thin-skinned and petty. So here's what Gilbo did. He ordered his government department to block us on Twitter. So we couldn't receive any government news updates from his department's Twitter account. We couldn't read anything. We couldn't reply. And of course, we couldn't ask him journalistic questions on Twitter. We were effectively kicked out of the public square, which is what Twitter has become. We were banned from a government service just because we disagreed with a politician. So we sued. We went to the Federal Court of Canada and argued that we had a right to see those tweets, that it was a government service like any other. Remember, this isn't Gilbo's personal account. It's his government account. He has more than 20 government staff running his Twitter account. It might sound like a small thing, but if Gilbo can cut us off from receiving news and other information from the government, what else can he cut off? We've already seen Trudeau ban companies who don't agree with them from receiving summer jobs grants. What's next? Gilbo fought us for more than two years. We had a court hearing in Toronto this summer, and the government sent seven lawyers to the court, all just to stop us from reading his tweets. What a shocking waste of money. Well, today, Gilbo finally caved. He agreed to a consent order against him. His lawyers must have told him that he had no case, and the choice was either to settle with us now or be humiliated at trial. I should tell you, Gilbo's government lawyers tried to get me to sign a confidentiality clause, banning me from disclosing the details of this settlement. Even as he was admitting he had violated our rights, he wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> what a crooked, corrupt government this is. Go to twitterlawsuit.ca to read the order signed today by the court. Gilbo has been ordered by the court to unblock me and to never ban me again as long as he's an MP. It's glorious to see. And Gilbo has been ordered to pay Rebel News $20,000 for making us waste two years and enormous legal fees to assert our constitutional rights. Of course, he'll probably make taxpayers pay that for him, even though it was he who broke the law. $20,000 sounds like a lot of money, and it is. But unfortunately, it's just a fraction of what we had to spend to finally get this little thug to back down. I can only imagine how much it costs taxpayers for Gilbo to have seven government lawyers defending him. He'll probably try to keep that amount secret too. Now, in some ways, today's victory is a small thing. But having the federal court smack down government censorship is never a small thing. And it sets a precedent for all other bullies in Trudeau's government, reminding them that they cannot use public resources to carry out a vendetta against their political critics. This is a win for all journalists, because the precedent will apply to politicians of every political party. We've made Canada freer for everyone. That's something that the official civil liberties groups used to do, but we were in court alone, not a peep from the Canadian Civil Liberties Association or Canadian Journalists for Free Expression or the Canadian Association of Journalists, or any of them. Not a single so-called civil liberties group intervened on our behalf because they've all been colonized by Trudeau. They all support censorship. Huh. Well, Rebel News won anyway. Stephen Gilbo lost. And every Canadian is just a little bit freer. It's a great day. I'm glad that the court ordered Gilbo to pay us $20,000 in costs. But in reality, we spent over $95,000 if you believe this is an important victory, please help us pay our legal bill by going to twitterlawsuit.ca. Thanks. You know, I'm savoring this victory today over that sanctimonious creep, Stephen Gilbo. But unfortunately, Rebel News is under attack by other government censors, too. 
That's the thing about the left. They're relentless. They hate the idea of an independent news organization that doesn't obey them. If you can help us stay strong, please go to twitterlawsuit.ca. And I promise I'll keep fighting for freedom.